Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration and juice. It is October the 19th, 2024, and today the topic is Controlaholic. Happy Saturday. Yes, happy Saturday, everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful Friday. Mine was just fine. Yes, mine was good overall. Um, highlights from yesterday, uh, we got the work done, right? We got the work done, the little guy and I, for his school, um, two days of work, because we had to do Thursday's work and Friday's work, but we got to do it. So we good with all of that. Um, I had to go work yesterday. I had to go to do this event and whatnot, and NJ had to go with me, so that was interesting, but still worked out pretty good. Um, after that, came on back home. And that's pretty much the main highlights of yesterday. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else of significance to share. Y'all know we had an episode of the GSL Talk Show come out last night. So y'all probably saw that episode with Pastor Stephanie. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that conversation. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It should be our featured episode on the GodSexAndLove.com website. Um, you know, I'm standing true to my, my word yesterday as well, and I'm just going to say that. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know, and I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I think I did pretty good with, you know, not partaking too much in the content. And, yeah, um, after some soul suffering and more praying and whatnot, I feel like, yeah, that's that's the route. I actually turned off um, the notifications <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, sorry, y'all not going to get your questions answered. But at the end of the day, everything's already been answered one way or another. And y'all may know that Allie went live last night as well and so or yesterday. And so um, we shared that. And it was interesting because um, I feel like a lot of the things that she said in that video is confirmation as well as answers to some of those questions that we were getting. So watch it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you will be encouraged and inspired as well as informed, right, about all of those things. Um Outside of that, yeah, man, that was my Friday. Um, I pushed through. Um, did I tell y'all, man, um, that we have we have to do this ninety day challenge as part of the staff of the church that I work at, and I've been doing pretty good. Um, one of the tasks that I have to do is do like a twenty minute workout alongside of other things, positive self talk, you know, a span of care, all these different type of things, and I think I've been doing pretty good with it. Um, I took a nap when I got back home yesterday, but then I got up and I did like a stretching workout yesterday. And so I've been trying my best to go ahead and get it done. So, yeah, that's been an interesting journey as well. And, yeah, that's pretty much the highlights of yesterday. Um, this morning, <sighs> there's quite a few things on my heart and mind again. I mean, you know, obviously with the title called Controlaholic, I mean, you know, it obviously came from somewhere, right? Um, I won't get too, too deep into specifics or whatever, but I would just, I'm just going to talk about my own testimony. I feel like. I'm making observations about myself, right? That makes me feel like, man, Miracle, are you a controlaholic? <laughs> um, now, I know as a believer in Christ, you know, I'm about to relinquish my thoughts, my ideas, uh, maybe even my wants and desires for whatever the Lord wants to do again with me, for me, and through me. Um, so these are things I know, right? But at the same time, too, I, I see how much I've had an issue with the way things have been or the way things are going, right? Um you know, I think my heart and mind would be much more at peace, for example, if, um, you know, we were getting the notoriety or whatever in another way versus the way we're getting it. Um, or, uh, I guess I am making an observation to someone else that seems like, you know, you want one thing, you say you want this, but at the same time when people do it, then you got, you know, you don't like it, stuff like that. And I mean, I think we all may have been there. Well, yeah, at one time or another, that you want something to happen a certain way, and if it don't happen a certain way, you, you might feel some way on the inside, right? Um, but I guess I'm here to remind us all today that we got to be relinquishing control. Um, at the end of the day, again, um, <laughs> this reminds me of a few things, but um, I was thinking about to tell y'all about the, the birthday trip that I went on when I turned 35, um, which was about five years ago. No, wait three, two or three years, whatever, <laughs> two or three years ago. But anyway, um, on that trip, I, uh, asked my, my friends and family to plan it. Cause I'm the one usually planning things. Right. 
um, you know, with my business, I would plan events and stuff like that. So I was like, let y'all, you know, I'm going to try to pick the place. I'll try to pick, you know, the location, stuff like that. But outside of that, whatever we do, all that type of stuff, I'm going to leave that up to y'all. If y'all want to decorate, whatever, whatever, it's up to y'all. Um, I try and I would like try to sprinkle in things I like just in case they didn't know. But at the same time, I was trying to like leave it up to them to, to <laughs> make the plan. Um, but it was interesting because I feel like the more I... I I found myself being like, okay, they're planning it, but at the same time, wanting to know what they're doing, but at the same time, wanting to be surprised. And then also like, do they know what I like enough to plan this? You know? And so if I was like that then about birthday stuff, I mean, can y'all imagine what I'm like today, right? About again, the way the the channel is growing or um, just whatever, you know what I mean? Different things in life. Um, Like I said, I've been trying to find balance with that, even working at the job and stuff because there's a lot of collaboration that needs to be done working at the church, for example. And I'm used to doing a lot of stuff on my own and like hiring people and outsourcing and stuff and delegating. Right. And so now I'm in a situation where I'm kind of like, you know, being delegated to, and I'm fine with that. I don't have to be the control, right. I don't have to be the lead. I don't have to do all that stuff. But at the same time too, there's something in the background where it's like, Ugh, if, if I could just, Ugh, you know, so how many of us are like that? Are you like that? And then I guess the question today is, are you like that with the Lord, right? Because that, that's the thing. <laughs> We're going to have to um, sacrifice that um, to the Lord and let him lead and guide and control, right? Um, you know, every aspect of our lives. And we might not like, right, how it plays out. We might not like the way it plays out or whatever the case may be. But um, I believe that the verses that I have today are pretty much just good reminders of, like, what you get by being obedient and allowing the Lord to lead and guide your life. And so um, I, I was thinking like to try to find verses that sent around like people with this type of, you know, personality or, or heart or whatever. But at the same time, I, I kind of felt like, again, we all probably have been there because either you are right. Humbling yourself to the Lord and saying, okay, Lord, do your will your way. What do you want me to do? Right. You're either doing that or you're not doing that by default when you're rejecting whatever the Lord is doing again with you, for you and through you. So I think we all might have been there. So I don't think I need to give more examples of that, you know, but, um, yeah, let's get into this conversation. So these are the verses that stood out to me to share this morning. Um, and I think they serve as good reminders. Okay. So Philippians four and six and seven, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, again, it, it's, it's something to doing the thing, doing whatever he has you to, you know, ask of you to do whatever it is, being obedient and then letting it play out. Right. Um, you know, on one hand, it seems as if, like I said, that's a difficult thing to do, depending on what kind of personality you have. Right. But, um. I like that that verse not only, you know, tells us what to do, which is to not be anxious, but it tells us also, you know, what we will get from not being anxious, which it says here, the peace of God, um, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts. And a lot of time, that's what we need, right? We need that peace to control and, and help us. Um, it's Maya is tuning in this morning and she says, good day to you and your family. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in, Ms. Maya, and commenting. Um but yeah, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, those that are watching live. But yeah, man, um, let's not be controlaholics, right? If you want to do something, especially for the Lord, right, then you're going to have to uh, be okay with what he decided to do. Um, this keep coming to my mind, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm probably going to be telling on myself a little bit. <laughs> but oh, I guess I'm supposed to be um, open and honest with y'all. Um there seems to be some type of little delay going on with the live video. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can get that settled or whatnot. But so anyway, let me, I guess, share another testimony then. Um, so <laughs> my apologies to the people that are live and whatnot. But um, yeah, I saw there was something going on with the Wi-Fi. But anyway, um, so I, I guess I'm about to get ready to tell on myself a little bit. But, you know, um. But anyway, so here, this is what happened. So in the beginning of the year, I think I told y'all that I was getting attacked on every end, right? You know, with my thoughts and everything. It was like I had people on the outside saying things and, and that was an attack. And then I had my own mental, you know, attacks and whatnot as well. And questions, right? Because, you know, um, 
you know, and so basically I was asking the Lord a lot of questions. Lord, why this? Why that? You know, and um, before he answered my questions, you know, I'm frustrated. I'm like, you know, because it could have been like this and it could have been like that. So why this and why that? You know, <laughs> um, I'm trying to tell y'all without telling y'all. But anyway, so on the flip side, basically, um, as I was asking those questions and the Lord was answering me, I feel like he was letting me know that, hey, you know, look at where you are. Look at what you're doing. Look at your family. Look at all these different things. At the end of the day, you said to me, right, in your single days, miracle, right, that uh, you're going to follow me, right? Um, you wanted me to sing your spouse, right? You wanted me to, you know, lead and guide your life. And these are my choices. And so at that point, you know, once I'm receiving those words, I'm like, hey, you know, hey, well, <laughs> that's true. I did say, and so, you know, and so who am I, right? Um, not necessarily to question. I, I don't think anything is wrong with asking God questions, but at the same time, too, you know, again, uh, humbling yourself to the Lord and letting him make the decision and letting it play out. And so, it's, to be honest, like I said, even now, right, um, when I'm asking the questions of the Lord, well, why did it have to happen this way? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like there's all this extra controversy centered around the way it's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? When it could have just happened, like other people in their channels, they're growing by just popping balloons or they're growing by whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we've been out here doing our thing, but at the same time, we're growing from like controversy, you know? <laughs> and it's like, why can't it just be something positive or whatever, you know? But at the same time too, who knows, man? Um, a lot of people, um, I, I, I told y'all I slowed up with comments and stuff, but I did see a few, or I went to, um, I saw a few um, on certain things. And so um, there's a lot of people thanking us for what we do here. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people, you know, thanking us for helping to open their eyes and, and different things of that nature. And so, again, there's a reason, right, that God has me on the path, like, that he has me on. That's the reason why he had me do the movie. There's a reason why he had me meet Ali. There's a reason why, you know, we're here today, you know? And so... Um, and there's things I might not understand about it, you know, and, and that's okay. You know, at the end of the day, God knows, uh, what the bigger picture is. And so I have to humble myself, right. And be like, you know what, uh, thank you for the blessings. Right. And, and Lord, you're in control. Miss Maya says, yes, I'd be feeling the same way. So, Hey, I guess this word is for you too, Miss Maya. Okay. We got to just, you know, again, yeah, humble ourselves, let the Lord lead and, and be okay with what he decides, right? Be okay with how he lets it pay, uh, play out. I know that can be difficult as a controller-holic, right? But that's what we're supposed to do, right? I mean, I think there's a lot of Bible that reiterates that. But um, let me give you guys this other verse that stood out to me, and it's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your path. I mean, I don't know what we think that means, but it seems to be very clear just to us to not lean on our own understanding. And so, again, um, yeah, I, in my mind, right, it would be nice that if things were done a little differently, right? Sure, it would have been nice if, you know, um, things would add up completely in my life versus being like, this and this is a little off and this is a little different than I thought it would be and all of that type of stuff. But, again... God's in control, right? And, and I can see even with me doing this, right? Um, a lot of times when I'm going through something, it encourages and inspires the juice that I come give, right? And and like even today, Miss Maya is saying that this is resonating with her, for example, right? And and who am I? don't know Miss Maya personally, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I don't know where she is or any of that type of stuff. But at the end of the day, being obedient, right, to thinking, praying, and studying about my own issues, right, or my own um, I'll just keep it there. My own issues have led and inspired, I believe, Miss Maya this morning, um, by my obedience, right? And so again, there's a bigger picture at play, right? What if I didn't come on here and talk about control the holics today? You know what I'm saying? Um, would Miss Maya be resonating right now? I'm using you as an example, but still, you know, it's just one of those things to think about. And so again, God knows, right? He knows all, he knows the, the plan he has for you. Um, believing that he has good plans for you as well. That's very important in this and I mean, this is totally the juice this morning, y'all. I'm pretty much, pretty much the whole thing is giving you guys the juice. But uh, I think there was one more verse, y'all, that I felt led to write down this morning. And it was 1 Peter 5 and 7. It says, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. So um, I guess this morning, again, I'm reminded whatever my anxieties, whatever my fears, whatever my concerns, whatever my doubts, all these different things when it comes to 
you know, the things that I quote unquote can't control. Uh, I need to give these things to the Lord. And um, like I said, this is ultimately the juice this morning. Hope you guys you are encouraged and inspired. Um, so much so that, I mean, I didn't even feel led to write anything for the Go Deeper section today. So um, the only thing that came to my mind to say about a way to go deeper about this is to just seek the Lord about what this looks like in your life. You know, pray, humble yourself and say, Lord, okay, you know, I, I would like this and I would like that. I wish things was like this or wish things was like that. But, you know, you're in control. So help me to be okay with that, right? Help me to... Um, remember that in those weak moments and like i said that's the juice this morning y'all now the bible verse of today is romans 1 and 17 it says for therein is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith friends i hope you guys enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all on Monday. If the Lord's will. <laughs> Bye-bye.